York Chuck leading off Carr. Line for the men. The center fielder, number 23. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and this four-game set is underway. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. Just a weak fly ball this time. McGee makes the grab one away. Here's the rookie third baseman, Huey Brooks. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. First pitch, and he just misses. And there's a ball. 2-0. In the air, right field. McGee calls it in, two away. Two outs, base is empty. Tom Kerr up now for the Mets. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And that is in for a strike going along. There's a swing and a drive. And that one's gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. And here is Charlie O'Brien. That one hit to right. McGee makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and now the center fielder, number 12. The center fielder, number 12. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. 0-1. That one is upstairs. One, two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next pitch nope. is inside. inside. It's two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Two, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Swings and misses, and there's one away. Willie McGee, the next giant to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. There's a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. One ball. That misses. And the count is one and two. One down. Base is empty. Bounce to the right. And that one handled. He handles it himself. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. And here's the first baseman, Will Clark. Pitch misses, ball one. Count one and oh. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Reynolds under it. He's got it. And that's the third out.
and welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, number 21. The pitch. Swing and a miss. 1 1. Good eye right there. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 Cal. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Fights that one away, still 1 and 2. And now the lefty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So up next, Kevin Reynolds. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The 0-2. That one ripped. That's back. And it's gone. He muscles that one out the opposite way. His first homer of the year. And they tap one on the board. It's 2 nothing. And the batter now, number 13, gets the call. Strike one. Bunt attempt popped up. Tosses to first. They handle the bunt and get the out. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop up or can be bunted right back at a position player. And a bunt towards third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Next oh, offering right. upstairs. Aye. And that's through there for a strike. The one two. Just oh, off the nice. inside edge. It's a good take. Three. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. of inning number two stepping in the long ball threat Matt Williams and the right hander back to work liner base hit next to hit Kevin Mitchell That's in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swing and a miss struck him out. And now Kevin Bass. Strike one. Oh, one Williams, two. the runner at first with one gone in the inning. One is lifted in the air. Coleman hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. 
Robbie Thompson, yeah, the next giant to hit. Base, base, it's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar Whoa. with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Back-to-back oh, -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Hey. And there's the strike. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And that ball is out of here. That one felt good. His second of the year. And we are starting over. It's 2-2. And now the catcher comes up to him. Number 16. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that one fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. The next offering misses. And the count one and two. Oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Next pitch misses outside. And the count is filled up. In the air, out towards right center. Nice grab on the run. And that will end the inning. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now it's the rookie first baseman, number 10. Black, back to work. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a 1-2. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Here's a one-two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Back to the top of the lineup, Chuck Carr. Now at the plate, he's 0 for 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Carr, in his fifth season, hitting leadoff in today's game. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Two strikes. That one missed. Ball two. And here it comes. And now it's three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there. If you're on the mound, you're ahead in the count 0-2 and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's gonna be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Run around the goal. Lifted in the air, right field. McGee hauls it in, and there's two away. So up next for New York, Tom Kerr. He's already homered in this one. Black with a move to first. Carr dives back in safely. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Carr around third. 
He'll score easily. It's 3-2. Comes through with the RBI. First pitch yeah, fastball in a great okay, spot okay. to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Oh, oh, yeah. So two down. Charlie O'Brien up now for the Mets. 0 for 1. He flat out to right in his first trip. Now one called a strike, and it's 0-1. And and the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Next one misses, one and one. And a ball evens the count. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here comes a 3-2. Got him looking for the K. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Royce Clayton. And a pitch. That one misses. And that is ball one. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strike. Got it by him for the K. So the lineup flips over. Number 12 digs in now. That one's in there, and that's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Fly ball down the line, and no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. 0 oh 2 now. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And a pitch. Liner snagged it first. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. That one fouled off. McGee, 32 years old, a former first round pick back in 2017. And it's one and one. I got one ball, one strike. A little out front there as he swings ball, through it. Two strike. The one, two. And now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. To the right side. He takes it on his He's own. Out. out number three. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, number 21. Number 21. The why to kick the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Just missed. Good hitters count the 2 0. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. 
And that is in for a strike. And it's three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And now a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Stays alive. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Down the right field line and a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And here is Kevin Reynolds. That catches the outside corner. That's strike one. And a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Next offering is foul back. No outs. Runner on second. Inside and it hit him. He had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Number 13 in the box now. Take strike oh, one. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage, but on the flip side, Ground ball, double play, strikeout. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. On the ground, into the outfield, base hit. The throw is late, and a run scores. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next to hit, Vince Coleman. And that's in there for strike one. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. 0 oh 2 now. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Number 10 up now for the Mets. His first at bat was a strikeout. To right, McGee moving under this one. Squeezes it. Two away down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Carr stands in with two away as he takes a ball. This one in the air center field, and that'll fall for a base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 5-2. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Brooks in the box now. No balls and a strike. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, two good. now. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. 
The next offering misses, and that's ball one. And delivers outside. Out towards right center field. McGee gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bottom of the fourth. And now the first baseman, Will Clark. The first baseman, Will Clark. The wind and the pitch. That's through there for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Carr balls it in, and there's one away. And now here is Matt Williams. Singled and scored his first time. In there for strike one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Here's the 0-2. Popped up right side. And he makes the catch. Two away. Good hard no fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Mitchell in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Next nope. pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. Popped up. Brooks under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Number 34 taking over on the mound. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Tom Kerr up now for the Mets. He's already homered here in this one. And he deals. They say it went. To the right side. Tosses to the Got pitcher it. covering the bag. And the leadoff man set down now, in their half of the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and oh, produced oh, exactly oh, what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. O'Brien batting with one down. Takes a strike. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one back there, and gone. A shot to the opposite field. His second of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 6-2. So digging in, number 21. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. On a line, base hit. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Kicks and fires. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. That one down the line. Right-handed reliever. And that's too high. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. 
to third might be two Williams to second and it's a double play to end the inning. Bottom of the inning and now it's the Giants DH Kevin Bass. The pitch. There's a strike. Right hander kicks deals. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Carr settles under it and makes the grab. One up, one down. Robbie Thompson, the next giant to hit. He's one for one with a two run homer his first time off. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. He was all over that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Kennedy batting for the second time. Oh, and that's strike one. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Next offering is in for a strike. And yeah, that's outside. One and two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Line drive caught. And up next for the Giants, Royce Clayton struck out swinging his first time. Base hit center field. Thompson around third. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's in there. A run comes in on the play. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center. Run around the goal. Ball yeah, misses. Throw to second, and he's safe. Clayton at second with two down. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throws to first. And that is that. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the DH, number 13. The pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. And the righty deals. And it's fouled away. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Ball one there. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And next for the Mets, Vince Coleman. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Trying to bunt his way on. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Now 
So man aboard number 10 up now for the Mets. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right-hander deals. Runner on the go. And that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball. Caught it out front and lifted it into the gap. At that point, probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. The 0 1. And a good eye there. One and one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Huey Brooks up now for the Mets. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game. You know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, where we go bottom six. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Willie McGee. McGee. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. This one high in the air to left center. Reynolds makes the grab. And a quick out number one. And here's the first baseman, Will Clark. Clark measures six feet two inches, 27 years old, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one. No Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. A little bit low. Two, two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Pitch misses inside, and it's three and two. Bounce to third. Fires across the diamond. Two up, two down. Now, Matt, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Williams. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. That's a strike. Riding to the plate. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Tom Kerr. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. 
Small guard belted. And it hits the fence. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balanced swing and a fraction of an inch different. On oh, now this ball gets down. Kerr headed for the plate. He will score, and they lead by four. Everything came together for him. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Number 21 stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation runner on first base, you want to nope. keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. O'Brien on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now at the plate, Kevin Reynolds. He's already homered in this game. First offering misses the mark. Double play ball to second. They get one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Kevin Mitchell. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle, Kerr. One up, one down. Next will be the Giants' DH, Kevin Bass. Kevin Bass. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. That one called the strike. 0-2. Oh, oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, Whoa, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. 1-2 now. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Next one oh, off inside. the plate inside. And the count is two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that ball is gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they inch closer. It's 7-4. One down. And up next for San Francisco, Robbie Thompson. And that one just missed off the outside edge. In the air, right field, Coleman on his way over. He makes the catch, and there's two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Kennedy lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Next pitch is outside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. On the ground right side. And that is that.
We go to the eighth, and now the DH, number 13. Number 13. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. And a foul ball. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Vince right Coleman. Vince Coleman. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Now one and one. And the pitch. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Three. Got him looking. That's out number two. And now the first baseman, number 10. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Over to first. And that'll do it. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Manzanillo. This is his third time out this year. Royce Clayton getting ready to hit. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. The pitch. And the slider catches the zone. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That's in there. And that is strike two. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Number 12, the next Giant to hit. Bunting for a hit, he pops it up. Got him trying to bunt for a hit. Hey, man, four pitches, two no, outs. That is an excellent pace. McGee, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next one misses, now 2-0. Two outs. In the air, left field. Reynolds settles under this one, and that'll do it. Number 35 into the game. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Number 35. So the batting order turns over. Now it's going to be Chuck Carr. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. The pitch. Strike one. That misses the zone. And it's a ball and a strike. Out to short. Zips it across. Now one gone in the ninth. Now here is Huey Brooks. And that's in there for strike one. All ones the count.
That's a little bit low. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's ball two. Fouled off down the right side. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. This one in the air right field. McGee makes the grab. And there's two down. Okay. Two okay. outs. Base is empty. And now it's the switch hitting oh. second baseman. Tom oh. Kerr. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Bounced up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. Right. Third out. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, John Franco. He last pitched two days ago. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Mets, number 34, John Franco. Will Clark now at the plate. The first base is Will Clark. And here it comes. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. Going one. Franco measures five feet ten inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, and occasionally mixes in the slur. In the dirt. Throw to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Williams ball. in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Good eye right there. Two and oh to count. Here it comes. And there's the strike. Takes the corner. And it's two and two. A wide to kick the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And digging in for San Francisco, Kevin Mitchell. Just missed. Fastball. He gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. The wind and the pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss as he was late. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next Thank offering you. in the dirt. Three and two down. Down to their final strike. Ripped on a line. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets take game one of the series on the road. These guys know they have a long series ahead of them, but they come out, establish, and set the tone in the first game of the series. Very important.